Leicestershire beat Durham inside two days. Day one at the Fisher County Ground saw Leicestershire's batsmen struggle to score a huge total, but a battling group effort brought them into day two at 316 for eight. Durham would be looking to clean up the tail in the morning session and attempt to build a solid first innings of their own. It was the perfect start to the morning for Durham, as Salisbury bowled Griffiths, leaving the hosts having added just three runs to their overnight total. Salisbury had the job complete just four balls later, as he trapped a bass LBW to end Leicestershire's innings at 321 all out. Durham's reply didn't get off to the best of starts, as the fourth ball of the innings saw Mohammed Abbas trap steal LBW, removing him for a duck. The visitor's poor start was made worse not long after, as Hart was caught behind by Dexter off a bass with the score 14 for 2. Alarm bells were ringing for Durham as Abbas's next over saw him trap Clark LBW and leave the visitors in disarray. Two balls later and Abbas had his fourth wicket, Richardson facing two balls before exiting for a duck. Durham captain Collingwood came to the crease and attempted to take on Abbas. His shot though only found the hands of Ackerman and a golden duck gave Abbas a fifer in just seven overs. Pointer survived the hat-trick ball but Abbas's spell of 5 for 17 had left the visitors in tatters at 18 for 5. He may have survived Abbas, but Pointer still exited for a duck, as his effort off Dexter found its way to Dearden. Durham were heading for a record-breaking low total, when Mike bowled Wood, leaving them 30 for 7. Lunch arrived shortly after, with the visitors 37 for 7, and in serious danger of being forced to follow on at some point during the day. The break didn't seem to help Durham as opener Lees, having made just 16, sent a Griffiths delivery into the air for Dearden to snag. An over later and Salisbury departed, caught behind by Hill off a Mike delivery, leaving Durham 53 for 9. The abysmal innings was brought to an end when McCarthy attempted to strike a Griffiths delivery and only succeeded in edging through to Hill. Durham all out for 61, their worst ever county championship total. The hosts enforce the follow-on, with the deficit still at 260. Abbas continued to pile on the misery, as he bowled steel to leave the second Durham innings at 10 for 1. Any hopes of a better performance in the second innings were fading fast, as Lees fell foul to an LBW shout at the hands of Dexter. A Clark duck, courtesy of a Dexter delivery, and Javid Catch had the visitors at 20 for 3, and in danger of being bowled out before stumps. No runs were added before Hart was caught behind by Hill from an Abbas ball. Abbas was nowhere near finished and his next spell saw Richardson bowled on 8 with Durham 29 for 5. The next over saw Pointer fall, a Dexter delivery caught by Evans as Leicestershire looked to wrap up the contest before tea. It was looking a real possibility as skipper Collingwood became Abbas's latest victim with the score at 38 for 7. Wood was doing his best to pepper the boundary, but was running out of partners as McCarthy was caught behind by Hill off the bowling of Mike. Salisbury was the next lamb to the slaughter, making five before being bowled by Griffiths. A nightmare for Durham was brought to an end when Abbas claimed his second fifer of the match with the wicket of Rushworth, a match to forget for Durham, losing by an innings and 194 runs while setting their two lowest championship scores in the process, Leicestershire with 27 points from just two days of cricket.